An Atrium employee reached out to Channel 9 about changes he believes could be putting people at risk. He says Atrium is now allowing health care workers who've been exposed to the virus but aren't showing symptoms to continue working as long as they wear a face mask. Our Tina Terry took these concerns to the CDC to find out if they're acceptable. Ever since this pandemic started, we have heard that even people who don't show symptoms can spread the virus. So today we pushed to find out if and why employees who have been exposed would be allowed to work. That atrium employee wants to remain anonymous, but in an email to Channel 9, he painted a picture of what's going on inside atrium facilities as they fight COVID-19. They're rationing masks, he said. Employees do not have access to masks or Lysol products. These are locked up and rationed at management's discretion only when they're present in the office. He also sent us this copy of what he called a new atrium policy. It says we are now allowing asymptomatic exposed healthcare workers to work while wearing a face mask for 14 days after exposure. We asked Atrium why healthcare workers who've been exposed would be allowed to work. They didn't offer a direct response, so I contacted the Centers for Disease Control. It showed me this CDC guidance, which says facilities should consider allowing asymptomatic workers to continue to work after options to improve staffing have been exhausted. The CDC also acknowledges a lack of personal protective equipment for healthcare workers. This guidance encourages rationing supplies and says facilities with shortages should even consider using intact PPE that is beyond the manufacturer designated shelf life. Yeah, Atrium did not comment on the staffing situation or on PPE shortages. They did send us a statement and it basically said that they are following CDC guidelines for all testing and PPE equipment use. If you want to take a look at their full statement, visit this story on our WSOC TV mobile app. Back to you at the desk.